So thank you everyone <laughs> for coming to this meeting, December 18th, uh, Festival of Chimes and Lights Committee. Uh, probably mostly what we're doing today is working on lights and decorations. We're going to save the review of the 2017 event for January. Uh, and we're just going to mostly be working together, Janine and I, um, on what we should get to Public Works so that we can order up our holiday direction um, decorations at a discount. All right. So I think we still have nine thousand in the budget. I I don't think we touched that, but I wasn't I, we sure. Have not. We I think it was seven thousand. I mean seven. Yes. yes. Yeah. Seven. I don't think we've touched it at all. Okay. And I can verify with Randy. Okay. Because that's what we'll need to do is verify yeah. that. And we have two companies that have been asking us about orders. Mm. I know there's more than that, but we have um, De Julio Displays, but she uses this particular catalog. And then we have Temple Display. And what I know we need to do is go back to the original idea of Roping. So, for seven thousand, do we need to have three bids, or how do we do that? Oh, because it might go over the procurement. Um, or what is that amount? Is it wanted five? to say it was probably the worst part. It was either over thirty-five hundred or over five thousand. So I believe since it is seven thousand, we might need to. It's really hard because it's hard to. It is, stuff. yeah. Agreed. Well, maybe what we need to do is consider ordering the roping first. And kind of get that. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I'm not sure. But let's, you know, each of our catalogs. Oh, fun. <laughs> I know. But I, think, I don't think we can do any pull things. Let's look oh, up. Yeah. Let's start with roping for the two. I might even have a third one in here. It might be old. And I know, I think um, display sales and another one has been, or yep, Street Decor, they've been contacting me also. So, yep, those are the two. Okay, so what I know is that we need to look for roping. through catalogs because we're going to be getting um, quotes for our various roping that we're looking for because uh, Public Works had to pitchy patch this together like none other. They had to what? Pitchy patch what they have out there together. Oh. So they just took bits and pieces of what we had and to create it, the roping that's out there, yeah. including multiple sets of lights that they've got in there, some that's all wrapped up with just a few working. So we put it off long enough. And the reason we actually did put it off is because we were really hoping for that new lighting to go yeah, across, right. which we can't do. Yeah. Well, not until there's some kind of decision about poles and posts and buildings right. and everybody right. running to lawyers and being scared to do anything because of litigation. This whole world is so paralyzed with litigation. Yeah. I know. I know it's fine. Okay, good. So, yeah, I know. So what we can do is replace the roping. That's what we're being allowed to do. Can't add any more weight to the poles, say like with um, exhibits that go on the sides of the poles. Can't we just paint them again and then give, make them stronger? Can you go down there <laughs> and firm them up for us? That's, I bet you could actually do that. They said actually it's been pretty difficult. So we're just going through, and if you want to look through, which one do you have? This is... Okay, here, why don't you look and display. What we'll have to do is source it from at least three different sources. Mm -hmm. um, right now, we're looking for roping. 
And what we'll do is we'll get the references in place, then we'll, Janine will go out, um, contact Public Works, and get the actual links that they know we need, because they're not even the same. So, because some of them have to plug in certain places, so some are a little longer and some are a little shorter, depending on So what on you're looking for is a bulk. You're yeah. For like big rolls of... Yeah, exactly. In the millions and millions of dollars of this that I bought, Remember that in past life. They come in 9, 15, and then bulk rolls. The rolls will vary depending on how many um, buys there are, which means how many branches, how thick they are. And that's what you look for for quality. When you're looking at these, don't be dazzled by a price. Look a little deeper because that there are little symbols under there that should tell you okay. how they're made. Okay. So <laughs> Probably, too, if we can afford it, it would be kind of nice to have something a little special on either end, you know, a little display thing that's a little bit nicer than, say, the middle ones in between, mm -hmm. that maybe has extra wreaths in it or something decorative. You're talking about the, on the end of each of the, the garlands? Beginning of town and end of where we... Oh, I see. You know what I mean? You mean as a kind of a gateway. Focal point. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if we have the money for it, you know what? We'll find out as we go along here what we can actually do. But that's another thing we're looking for. So, you know, like here, this example, this looks like it's a gateway one where they have a wreath with these bows with mm -hmm. a little bit more of a sway coming yeah. down. Yeah. Yeah, I just was open to that one too. And the little wreaths, this one has a couple candles in it. So let's um, bend back the pages when you find yep. something, okay? And then I'll leave all these here. And what you can do is contact. No, they, don't, they don't tell you. I know. Mine doesn't either. They don't say by how many. Mm. No. Mm -mm. It's pretty vague. That's a, that's a standard. They're not doing that. That's, that's, well, just to let you know, that's, that's, if you see the same length and it really looks the same and the price is different, that's, there's something different about it. Okay. So, you know, we originally, as a committee, had decided that we didn't want to go with the traditional. And now I think that's pretty much what we have to do, is the, uh, the actual garland does kind of hide some of the stuff in our town. So if we just had streets of lights, <laughs> you, know, you know what I'm saying, though? It, hide what? Hide, well, the buildings. <laughs> you know, wires and stuff. Oh, yeah. It, so it, it creates... Um, it shields it a little bit. <laughs> yes, it makes for it's just a, a beautiful really distraction, right? <laughs> see, I think this is kind of cool too. You know, like they show, I like when you see the actual skylines. Do you see how they have this here and this one? See where this is? Isn't that neat? That is very neat, yeah. Yeah. That's pretty. If we can do something. Very pretty. The one thing we'll have to watch for too is how low it hangs because we have the highway running through. But they'll be 14, 14 or 15 foot minimum. I'm not sure, but you know, public works won't know all that. Okay. And so most overpasses are that, so they probably Okay. Won't so yeah, bend back um, the corners and we'll see if we can find out about mm. some of this. Yeah, there's some like this one. They have the little wreath, but they have like two little reindeer right here and their Santa sleigh. And there's one with little candy canes on it too. Yeah, for the gateways. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'll just do that for Okay. Them. Just see what yeah, Public Works says about it. And yeah, they don't have really almost zero garlands in here. They just have a couple of them with lights in them already. In which one is that? Display? Yeah, it's just this one. They they don't focus much on the garlands. They have more banners and sim you know symbols like this, so this outlines of a star or a bell or a tree or a candy cane or something. Okay. So looking for garlands. This doesn't seem that to be doesn't. Uh -huh. So if we can put more weight on the poles, what about just wrapping some lights around the poles? Would we be able to do that? Mm. Strengthen them. <laughs> no, I, that's a good point. Yeah, I think we're sticking with garlands. Just the garlands. Yeah. Okay. We talked about even just adding on 
you know, these kinds of things. Uh, yes. Yeah. That, that was um, too much weight. And then you have to have that bracket on there right. to do those. You have to do the brackets. Yeah. And part of our problem yeah. is light sourcing. I mean, power sourcing. Power. Right. So we don't yeah. have um, sources of lighting, I think, on every pole, but I think we have the ability to connect okay. with, and yeah. that's what they've been doing. And again, Public Works yeah. is really the ones in the know about that. My hope when that is mm -hmm. developed, the, the downtown, that, this is all kept in mind, the electricity for this kind of stuff. Oh, I, you it know, it will. In the plan. It just will. I know it will. And, uh, this is oh, enough. This is not the one. Yeah, so that's where we're actually starting is with the, the garland. We'll find out what that end up price is out and how many feet we need There's of that. Banners. Here's a couple. Oh, these on are. This one. So you got the poinsettias and like just cute little. Ones. Okay, now if these, you know what we didn't want to have is that kind of the fuzzy. fuzzy yeah. Um, and that's what this looks like. It does, yeah. Well, so you works. know the kind that we're looking for is a little more realistic as far as the pine? Like more, a little bit more like this. Okay, all right. Not the um, metallic, and then not the kind of cut up plastic bag yeah. sort of thing. Banners, banners, still banners. Yeah, that's all that's, there yep. is then. Wow, let's see what's mm. So, display doesn't have one? Doesn't have doesn't show any. They have like eight and twelve foot garlands. If you want anything continuous, and they they're lit. They have lights and everything woven into them. They don't have any plain ones. They just only have two. And I only have two here. And no gateway ones. That's the. This one is the um, rep who's from the Bellevue, Seattle. Oh, okay. Is that Bob? Hmm? Is it Bob? No, I think her name is Rita. Did you can tell you to a Bob? Yes, I don't, but I don't know if it's display sales or if it was the cord. Pages stuck together. Oh. <laughs> oh, they're still okay. Twenty. Okay, here we go. Twenty-five foot. There. Twelve inch diameter. Yeah, that's thick. Mm -hmm. I wonder if we could get this one quoted. Hi! How are you, Kathleen? Good. Come on in. We're shopping. We're shopping. We're shopping. Oh, okay. Hi. So, we Fun. We're looking for garland, oh, okay. and sort of the idea. We're going back to this for now because we can't oh. add any weight on the poles. Okay. So. Oh, that's pretty. Isn't that nice? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Something beautiful. along. I know. Something along the lines of this. Um, so what we're doing right now is just um, trying to find garland, lit garland, with maybe. Um, the yeah. gateways each having a little more elaborate. Yeah, that's pretty. So even if we can't afford to have everyone like this. Right, just two of them. Yeah, yeah wouldn't that be neat? Yeah, gorgeous. And we're trying to get this part um, quoted and ordered sometime in January so we can take advantage of year-end sales. Sure. That is a great idea. So they have to order from Asia um, by the end of uh, January or February to get them in the system and get them out of containers and get them over Yeah. Uh, the next year. And what we had talked about before, and you'll probably remember, is we didn't want this kind of fuzzy looking one. No. Have, and we, we liked the natural yes. pine look. So the, not plastic and not that little metal, yeah. shiny metal. Yeah, for sure. Easier to store, too. Mm hmm.
So, how did everything go at the library? Oh, it was great. Did it? Yeah. You must have had a lot of people, didn't you? We were very, very busy. Oh, yeah. It was small. We were so busy. How did it go down here with the choirs? I didn't oh, get down here. They were so terrific. Were they? Okay. Good. Good. And you know what? It was really rainy. We do need to oh work on our yeah. canopy. We have to have one. I we know. have to order one. I I that, the ones that I ordered, um, that, well, the friends of the library have, uh -huh. they ordered two 10 by 15s and one 10 by 20. And I think the city should get a red 10 by 20, the same brand. It's so nice. Easy to set up. Easy to take down. Yeah, Just, do you remember what your 10 by 20 cost about? It was about $600. Yeah. Yeah. yeah okay. It's well worth it, and it stores in just a little. Yeah, you know. I, I know Public Works had canopy envy because they did. They, yeah, they they, told they me. were putting up that they other one with the bags and all yeah. the, the hassle. Oh, so that other one just folds right up. I know. <laughs> so, we need one of these. I so said, we'll have to maybe save some money in our budget need for to that. Budget for that, and then you know it looks so nice. Yeah. Red choirs are under Red there. It's be Christmassy. Very yeah. yeah. Do you remember mm. what company you guys got? I can't, I'll send you the link. Okay. It was just off Amazon. Okay. Well, we have stuff like this. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's what we can't that's do. That's about what yeah. you yeah. don't want. This one has those. We were kind of talking about those little ornaments. Mm -hmm. mm. They have little hanging ornaments that you can attach. It looks like to some of the garland and some of the oh. things going across the street. Mm. That's what we were looking for for this. So it looks like they run each of them about, the lowest is 105. Oh. Lowest is 95 for this one. What and then if you want LED, it looks like it goes up to 115. So oh, that's, yeah, it looks like that's just for one. For yet yeah, one of those little ornaments. And then it looks like. So how much is, is the actual going to do this? And what year is that? Are we looking at what year is Oh, 2015. Okay. Mm. So. So you know, and then what they told me, a lot of salespeople told me, is they don't necessarily even have current public uh, magazines, catalogs anymore. Mm -hmm. it's because right. they're not really printing a lot. Mm -hmm. So they're just yeah. doing those price sheets. And a lot of it is done online. Mm -hmm. But, you know, this is just to give us an idea mm -hmm. of what to ask for. Oh, this is nice. It gives you the different Oh, yeah. Which one is that? Style. This is street decor. Street decor. Yeah, so that's that's nice. You can mm -hmm. tell. And then mm -hmm. it has... Does it say how much they cost you? Or they don't have all the price list in there? Uh, I don't have the price list. This one also has, probably doesn't look like as much, but here's a couple. Okay, so the, the most natural looking is what we'll probably be after. So, a, so in 2015, mm -hmm. it looks like it was $7 per foot. What company is that? Per foot. The Julio Oh, wait, that's the, that's the one in Seattle. I mean, the represents Seattle, or the Seattle oh, area. Yeah. yeah. $7 per foot. So it, may, it might be, let's, we could probably round up with everything and say $10 per foot is what we're talking about. And crossing the street, mm -hmm. one garland. So you can see it's going to add up. Oh, yeah. Say so, probably. Okay. And it looks like they go, uh, tip counts up to 60 per foot. I'm not sure what a tip count That's is. That's this. That's the, I was talking about the, the, the How full the 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 full, okay. The fullness of 60 tips. Okay. Well, that's more than these. These have They like just use a different one that I'm using, or used to, but it's the same thing. Okay, so, Janine, what we're looking for then is probably, this is one of the, the best illustrations. Yeah, that's, oh. a, that's a good one. Mm-hmm. Which ones do you kind of like? You well, like this I like that one. Yeah, that? I think that one is good for because you're. It gonna looks be, a little more real. Yeah, and it's kind of bigger, like because you're seeing it from what, like forty feet down. So it's just so. 12, 14, 16, and eighteen inches. Probably that's what what Clancy's talking about is the fullness factor, right, Clancy? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. this natural looking roping, um, and probably one of the maybe if we could try the sixteen inches. 
or whatever, mm-hmm. the 14 or 16 inch, a little more fullness. What that would cost then for to replace everything we have lit. Because I think they come lit already. Mm-hmm. Isn't that your impression? Both ways. You can lift them without. Mm. We'll ask public yeah. works what they would prefer. If they would think they would prefer lit, but yeah, I know. Yeah, because if we can get it in certain lengths, then that sure is gonna make their job easier. Oh yeah. Okay. Well, anything, including like tents and stuff. You know, every year you scramble for those tents. Where are you gonna get them? I know. Yeah. I know. Yeah. Well, we so we had to. Just just put a crowbar on the wallet. Yeah. The thing is, we had to switch gears so much because we were really going with that other leg. Yep. In the future, mm-hmm. and we know it's not too far away. So yeah. this kind of thing right here, um, probably get it priced lit, mm-hmm. and then find out from these companies what they have available in sales, and if we they've got something that would be good for our gateways. Okay. Yep. Along this line with a wreath and mm-hmm. some bows. Because we're kind of like in that here. I just so. grabbed this company and they've got, a, they've got all kinds of different, um, you know, pine and fir, different needles. Then they're lit and unlit. What company is that, Clancy? Uh, Where are they it's at? It's called Mosca Design. I just grabbed them, just, I, I looked under commercial uh, Christmas decorations for municipalities. Okay. Mm. <clears throat> and it is uh, MOS. CA design. That's one. Can you forward that to Janine? Oops, yeah, I will. Great. Okay. I'm just looking at ones that are so, simple. So, Janine, could you easy. have something uh, for the January 1st council meeting? I can, I'm gone next week. Okay. And I'm gone this Friday. Okay. So it did, I can try. I can well, try for, my hardest. Let's yeah. just try for the yeah. study session. Okay. That would be good. Yeah. Do you want me to go ahead and see if we can get something on the work study session yeah. on Monday? No, on Monday, sorry. January. Yeah. January. <laughs> yeah. Let's see if we can um, come up with some illustrations. Rather than just throw anything at you, we should kind of let me look at it and see what, which ones are worth something. I just just glanced at this thing and I, oh, I'll, yeah, I'll get yeah, you a couple yeah. of them so you have a little bit more to choose from. Definitely, yeah, that works. How tall was that tree that we got this year? Huh? How tall was our tree? Oh, we had to cut it down. Yeah. I don't know. Fifty feet about was Does it have tree prices in that one? That's trees, 15, 26 tree foot well? tree. No, we're not. Look we're at the LED. Fresh. We're not $15,000. Oh yeah, you know the one that they had in the first place started at 22000 Oh. And it was shorter. Whoa. So, and Whoa. Public Works mm-hmm. was looking for that, but we're not. people to set it up every year too? Mm-hmm. Oh. Put the people in the box to set it up every so year. So expensive. <laughs> I know. It was a problem with storage and they only last five to seven years, oh we don't have that kind of budget. Mm-hmm. And next year is the 20th year. Right. So we want to do something really yeah. special. It has these cute little things too. I know we're not really looking, but like over the signs That's and like really over cute. City Hall. I think that'd be fun, but I love that. Like, our new, gate, like our new gateway sign. Yes. They have these cute little that you can kind of put over your, you know, yeah. welcome to towns and a little scene of that. I know. Let's let's start with Garland first. We have, <laughs> we have a great big wish so list. Cute stuff. <laughs> yeah. So, pricing garlands with two possible um, enhanced garlands for gateways. That's what we'll ask of the sales reps. Um, Public Works can supply the dimensions. And I would imagine that we'll want it um, lit. Mm-hmm. I think any time yeah. we can save on labor costs mm-hmm. for the city, it makes a lot mm-hmm. of sense because labor is expensive. Mm-hmm. Um, and we're short staffed sometimes. So. It's probably a good idea yeah. to find out what these things weigh, too, in, in addition to you know, all their other specs. 
because yeah. you'd want to, if it's that critical, you'd want to weigh those and make sure you're not going too much heavier. Yeah, what they yeah. did, you remember he had multiple light sets and things in there because they were making use of sets. So he actually bundled sets up where the ones weren't working. Oh, geez. They're in there. So, so those gotta got to be heavy. Yeah. yeah. Pretty heavy. And probably mm -hmm. older lights. So I think that we're going to be okay, especially with, mm -hmm. we've got a mixture of old lights in there and new lights mm -hmm. and that. It's just a mess. Mm -hmm. But you know what? It, it really looks good from a distance. It does. You can't tell that no. all that's in there. And they, uh -uh. they did a lot of work to do that. So I think, okay, that's what you're being tasked with then, yep. please. Definitely. Is, um, again, this is the fuzzy stuff and we don't want that, but the really uh, nice. What do you mean by fuzzy? Let me see. Um, it looks like a, a plastic mean. bag, you know mm -hmm. what I mean, when they did recycles. Kind of like, yeah. Oh, that. that okay. Yeah, that's, yeah. Um, I got gotcha. you. And yeah. we're looking for the most natural that we can afford, mm -hmm. evergreen garland, and as Classy was saying, maybe a little toward the middle range, depending on what we can afford, um, and then having lights on it, and some little yeah. decoration. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, uh, wreath was good mm -hmm. with a couple of bows, maybe. Perfect. Yeah, yeah, those wreaths are neat, aren't they? Mm -hmm. And there's a picture of yeah. one. Let's find that picture if we can of that town that had them, because that was pretty cool to show. Of like this. Yeah, oh, so yeah. pretty. Isn't that neat? That's so pretty. It's old fashioned. Mm -hmm. it's, it really mm -hmm. does look neat. I like those. Okay, so here's a great thing. Let's turn this back. Okay, so I'm going to leave these with you, yep. but I wouldn't mind getting them back. Oh, definitely. Yep. Okay, cool. I will do that, and then I'll check with um, Brandy and see what the January work study session agenda is like. Okay. That would be great. Yeah. And what we'll do then is that will probably align really closely with our next meeting, which is going to be... Do you know how many people came through your doors on the tribes in this mm -hmm. About 1,800. Wow. Yeah. 1,800. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which is actually kind of down. I mean, some some years it's like 2,200. But if it's raining, that really affects it. It was raining. Yeah. And I noticed, okay, January 22nd, you guys, because January 15th is um, holiday. Oh, okay. Martin Luther King, okay. right? Mm -hmm. yeah. And that works because this will be after the work after study After the work session. study. And one, okay. two, three. Yeah. And then, uh, right. So let's do that. Okay. And did you want to do the review of the 2000, of the event in we'll January? We'll do that in January. Okay. Right. Okay. I actually Perfect. told everybody last meeting that we'd do it in January. Okay. Um, even though good. we put it on today. It was something that it doesn't hurt to kind of keep talking about it, but we'll have more of the people here. Mm -hmm. And yeah. another thing is I wanted to schedule a thank you council meeting um, as a presentation for the people who contributed. So I'm thinking to the January 23rd agenda, if we have time for a presentation on that meeting, then we can get notices out to all the people who contributed. Yeah, we should include the choirs. The choir directors. Choirs. And that's one of the ways that we can follow up with the Kids at Bank stuff too. Remember, you know, they oh, had, yeah. mm -hmm. they wanted to mm -hmm. have testimonials. Mm -hmm. yep. So what we can do is we talked about something from the library, mm -hmm. something from choir, and maybe the dance studio. Yeah. Then we can get those turned in by the end of January. And the 23rd we'll have a presentation and we'll have like the... Um, Olympic Antique Tractor Group come in. Um, if we can find someone to rep from there, the Saints Club, I and mean, we've got a long list. Yeah, there's a lot. And that would be nice too, to meet some of these people, Woodside Animal yeah. Hospital. They did a good job. People were really happy with that. I had great feedback on the pep parade. So and Dan good. McNabb. Yeah, he would be happy, mm -hmm. yeah. We got their names out there quite a bit, actually. So I'm yeah, hoping that, that was a good that. deal. Yeah, and the um, yeah the pet parade was it was different. Everybody loved having the judging done. I really? didn't realize that they didn't know the people that were in the parade never found out who won until it was announced at the tree lighting. So they all came 
and we got with their pets soaking, just waiting, and they said half the time we couldn't even hear it anyway. Oh. And then there weren't really, so they even put together five beautiful gift baskets. One was the grand prize winner that was announced, but then there were four like most festive, most um, twin, the best twin, which was confusing to the judges because half the judges thought it meant like the multiple animals and then, but it was really meant like owner animal matching. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't have known that. Captain Sherry won that one because she and her dog were matching. It's really cute. There were these poodles that were like dressed up like uh, 50s uh, bobby socks. Oh, my God. (laughs) Isn't that? And I thought they were like, they're the twins. But that wasn't what they meant. That is too cute. What what would uh, prevent uh, them from the winners from being announced as soon as the thing is. Well, yeah. So, so what what the changes were were they the judges because um, you know we had discussed those changes here, and then the Woodside um, the gal that was running it she used to judge dog shows, so she ordered rosettes, do- real official dog show rosettes that would said like most festive, best in show, oh. and then um, and then cookies donated us so much stuff they put it together in like baskets. And so the five winners each got a really nice basket and a rosette that said what, what they got. And so then they got to line up at the front of the parade with the rosette, and they kept their baskets under the Kids at Bank cover. And then they did the parade, and the parade route was shorter. It just went from Kids at Bank down to Sydney, turned around, mm-hmm. and came back up the middle of the street. And so that was good. They all liked the shorter parade, too. <laughs> so, <laughs> did someone take photos? I took a couple, actually, of that. Ooh. Um, use those. Yeah, it took, and Bobby was there. Bobby was judging, so she okay. was a little preoccupied with the. I can show you the winner. I took a photo How many of the entrants winner. were there? Um, um, I would say there were at least 30, oh, wow. maybe more than that. There nice. weren't any other animals other than dogs this year, which was unusual. No bunnies or No bunnies or cats. Um, but yeah, we had a lot of dogs, and um, they were super cute. Oh, here's the poodles. Oh my gosh, oh, <laughs> that's too yeah. cute. I thought that was oh. so cute. <laughs> yeah, can you send that? And oh then, gosh, yeah, and great. then, let's see. Oh, this guy, so appropriately dressed. That's it, like, really neat. Him. Like, oh my I gosh. felt like that was like the best, like, <laughs> It's like so dignified That's incredible, looking. really. And then here's the grand prize winner. Oh my, oh yes, yep. Yeah, he's like, I love <laughs> every year he's got I know. Yeah. That's and so elaborate. There was this. Oh, I just I liked this dog, so I thought he was super cute. Aww. He didn't win anything though. And then this I can't really like this picture is kind of blurry, but this guy won most festive. Oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Is I that do those light up? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he didn't make the whole parade though. Aww. <laughs> the legs wore out. Yeah, that's a lot they of did. stuff. Yeah, they they did. so that was super fun. So they were, and that's then there was a dog, cute. a grand, Great Pyrenees. Actually, it it looked like the Great Pyrenees, but it mm. isn't. It's something else. But um, this okay. huge, yeah, it's white though, and it. Uh, it and it was with a Great Pyrenees. I don't know some other kind of mountain dog, but it. Um, his name is Smiley, and he just had this like big like smile, <laughs> and uh, and he won um, like most original, and like that dog. I guess that dog has been in the parade since it started, and has never won anything. Oh. And so when they announced Smiley, like there were literally like twelve people that were like Smiley. Oh my gosh! <laughs> and was like, smiley. Ah. Oh. It was so cute. They were so happy. So, oh my ah. gosh! That was oh. super fun. Huh. I was very glad oh, to be Oh, there's two. Yeah. Good. Yeah. <laughs> so, so who actually took the initiative then to run it? Was it Popsa? It was Popsa. Like, we coordinated it. Yeah. Popsa coordinated it. And then Woodside um, sponsored the whole thing. But, I mean, Woodside was running it. And then... Okay, uh, so what's a yeah. so like for this next year? What side would they'll be? do it again? They're excited to do it again. Okay, and Cookies is excited to sponsor it too. Well, isn't that neat? Yeah. I'm so glad we have that back. Oh my gosh, yeah, and they did such a great job, and it was just really good. So it all okay, worked out. so yeah. that worked that out, and the library was good. 
1800 yeah. about three mm-hmm. doors. Mm-hmm. Yes, and we ran out of all of our crafts. Oh, so. wow. It was good. What I noticed is that um, after the, the, there'd be surges around the various choirs of people. Oh, good. good. And there was a big change when the last school choir left and the Kitsap Community Chorale uh-huh. ended up. It seemed to me that we lost a lot of people then. Oh, you did? But it was crummy weather. All the parents and yeah. stuff. And they but might then, have been standing out there for a long yeah, time. Yeah, but then the band was there, right? This Not yet. High school band? No, because the band doesn't come in until after the community corral. So were the band parents there yet, or they weren't there yet? They weren't there yet. So did community corral not have a very good audience then? No, they had a good audience, oh. just different. Yeah. Just different. It was just a change. You could just see. a transition. In. Yeah, because, so what, did we have Ethiopians in they the middle? They were second. They yeah. were second. Right, so um, the, that was, there was... A lot of people leaving right after there. Okay. That, those, that choir. Then a lot of people lining up because the community crowd is so big. Yeah. And there were plenty of people with them, but I did notice that the Ethiopians kind of headed out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's what it seemed like. Okay. Yeah, they probably had been out there in the rain. Probably. Soaking wet and cold. Yeah. And was, Katie, the choir director, had to leave right away. So maybe that had something to do uh, with it because she was in a play in Silverdale. So that was that's probably has something yeah, to do with it. Yeah, that might have had something. But mm-hmm. but you think I mean they're all their parents out there. They're not like they're getting on a bus or something. So I don't know. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure. Yeah. But that's what that's what I observed. It just seemed like it there was a change there. Yeah. But it was well attended and they all sounded amazing. It was really, really Were those um Marcus the, Choirs big? Um, fairly big. Yeah. And you know what? The the sound was great. Oh, I think the sound this year was the best it's ever been. Now, Gus really struggled because he had to put something in front of the tree, which wasn't yeah. ideal, and we had to change the... Move the canopy. Mm. Yeah. We no. faced it off on an angle, which is not ideal, yeah. and next year we're going to be moving it back. Okay. But it was just what Public Works had to do, given yes. that Santa had to be over there. Yes. that's When, when I went over there, when we were setting up for the jingle <laughs> and I saw them setting that tent up in the rounds. Yeah. the wrong spot, like this spot, they're not normally setting it up. So I went over there and, and I said, the, the choirs are under this, I don't think they're going to be as visible, but then they pointed out that Santa had to be there this year only right. because mm-hmm. of the flag the power situation. Problem. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and so mm-hmm. because he was right there where the tent normally goes. Right. So Gus, Gus said it was a struggle for him. Yeah. I thought it would be. Uh-huh. It was. You know... You're always flying by the seat of your pants. You just never know quite what you have to deal with. Right. But I think Public Works did a good job. Like they did, people. yeah. And that was really nice of the chamber to loan that tent. Mm-hmm. Um, but, like, we all agree that right. that's not a great So situation. our priorities will be to replace that roping and to get um, the tent down there. Yeah. And, I, you know, whatever <coughs> works the best. Again, Public Works will have the best idea of the size. I think that was a 10 by 20. It was. And then there was another one next to it. That was Gus's. Gus brings a 10. But, um... It almost seems tent, like a little bigger tent would be... You know, that tent can also be used during um, National Night Out, too. It could be used for lots of things. Yeah, so it wouldn't be just the chime, just for chimes, but... I don't think we'll have any problem with justifying the need for it. Yeah. In our weather, you know. So and the kids, you know, everybody even was... You know, bundled in there. People are still getting wet. Right. Under the tent. I mean, it was blowing in from the sides and things. Yeah. But they were all in such good spirits. And That's so great. I know it. So I know. Nice. And then the band. The band you know? was awesome. I did get to see the band because I had to leave right after the pet parade, go and work at the library. And the, But the band always walks right by the library. You know, they parade right by. It's so fun. And Gary cool. said the band's bigger than ever. Like so they had more people. Over 200 kids. Yeah. I know it. Yeah. So that's a lot of people through the town. Yes. You know, it was, it was so busy. What was the estimated uh, attendance? You know, we I couldn't tell because the lights were we could, really, we, I couldn't see out there as, as much. And, see and you know what, I have, I have no idea. Yeah, I just can't tell. It, I know it's so hard to get to gauge. I would say, I mean, just walking around town during that time, while I know the theater um, was full every time. Nice. Yeah, they were turning people away. People were mad. But, I mean, it's a free movie, so, you know. I wonder if we could sneak in another show, especially towards the end. I mean, that's what was missing. Back to back. 
in both theaters. So it's like, I don't there know. There was a bit of could... a gap. Oh, was there? Yeah. Okay. A little bit. Which was different from other years, but I think they just had, you know, they were struggling to get everything moving. Yeah. I think he changed, he did change that for their own. Yeah. Ease. So they had one at, okay, they had 4.30, 5.30, and then the gap was still 7. Of course, there's a tree lighting in between. Yeah, so. But, you know, we're done with the tree lighting and everything at 6, and the, that's when the band marches down with Santa. So. They could do 4.30, 5.30, 6.30, probably. They could do that, and a 7. I'm not sure. Because sometimes they had 3 and 3.30. Yeah. You know how they did that? Yeah, I don't know. But in, they're running them like off times, right, in the different, in both theaters. So. Still, it was really amazing, amazing that they did it. Yeah. yeah. It's just so cool. Mm -hmm. So, and Jingle Bell raised the most ever. Yes. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Dollars so raised. Awesome. Isn't that something? And I think they That's had, fantastic. I don't even think they had the most runners this no. year. They didn't. There were a lot of people that didn't show up. Yeah. That were registered. But there were a lot of people who just don't At that time, them. the weather was pretty bad. Uh-huh. Yeah, it got it better, actually. But it did. And you know what? It actually got better at 6. Yeah. The rain actually stopped. Yeah. And it, we had a break. So, how good. So, uh, that's what we'll do then. So, January 22nd, we'll have our meeting. And then we'll have price that and get that information to everyone. So. Were you thinking about redoing the design of the stuff for the 20th anniversary? This? Yeah. I don't think we have money for it. No. This was all donated. Yeah. So, be I know it's been on It's been on the same for a thing while. for a long, long time. I think since the 10th anniversary. Maybe. Yeah. Is that one? Yeah, I think. D did it. it. Yeah. D Coppola. I think it was for the 10th anniversary. I could talk to them and see if they donate something else. I would actually like to see something like fireworks. Oh, for the 20th. Mm -hmm. That would be so fun. Do you think we could have fireworks in a rain nice. like that? Remember the fireworks that we sure. used to have. <laughs> <laughs> if we could maybe find a sponsor for it. Oh yeah, that would be so fun. Right. I talked to a couple people already about it, sponsors, and there was some interest. So I think it maybe could happen. How much did you ask them for? I didn't ask for specific. That's why there's interest. <laughs> <laughs> no. Come but up with a dollar. Yeah. People who know what they cost yeah. were saying that they may be interested. So we could maybe seek some kind of sponsorship. It'd be nice to have something special. It would be. Wouldn't it? Can you think of anything else that we could have that would be different? Could add to it? See that? Like, a laser show? We did a laser show one year, and it was it was okay, but it was after the, it was in lieu of the fireworks, and so everybody was sort of like, uh, oh, I see. It, you know, when we had to stop having fireworks, the first year without fireworks, we had a laser show. Hmm. And, it, I mean, it, it was okay. terrible, yeah. It was, was it okay. over in the parking mm -hmm. lot? Okay, I yeah. think we were there. Mm -hmm. We were there for yeah. that one. It was okay. I mean, yeah, it's we liked fun. it. Yeah, but, but fireworks would be more fun. It wasn't fireworks. Or, <laughs> or, or, or a drone parade. <laughs> or nothing else, even a ground, Groundworks or something yeah. would be kind of cool, or just a boatload of stuff going out. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I mean one big hurrah, just one big thing. Just have the barge out there and light on fire. You just got to price it <laughs> All of us. We can just have garbage in it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Old Christmas trees. I didn't say that actually. <laughs> but you know what? They used to do something like that in Europe as part of a holiday tradition. Oh, they did. Yeah. <laughs> Way back. <laughs> but but keep kind of thinking about what okay. could be nice to add to it for the twentieth. And I'll talk to D about if they would like to donate something. Be fun. I think it'd be fun. I mean, we've had that one for a long time. A long time. Yeah. A very long time. Mm -hmm. um, and thank you notes. Are we doing anything with that from the city, like officially? Like we've done a whole bunch already. You have? Okay. Mm -hmm. Did you do the choirs? Not yet. Okay. Uh, no, not yet. So yes, and that will be part of to our meeting on when January. We have the presentation. Okay. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. So we'll actually present something. Nice. Right. And um, we've had our thank yous in the paper a couple of times, too. Okay. So everyone's been listed. Good. Yeah. But, yeah. Fun. Can you think of anything else? That was it. Okay. 
Well, I think this is good, and yeah. um, in general, we'll get more feedback from some of the other people involved. Okay. And I'll find yeah. out from the dance gallery. A lot of people are standing outside there watching their performances, too. Yeah, I talked to Did you see in the paper? They had the listing. They have what? They have fun at the dance gallery. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It wasn't a great one, too. Let just see. There was actually, um, the Portrait Independent did quite a few little articles here, there, and everywhere, which was nice to see because I didn't see that our event was listed much in the Kids Have Sun. But. There's, this was a, a little thing that was in the paper. And oh, I did see that, yeah. And this was separate. That's so there's the dance performance. And the POI also had this little thing with the, um, oh. when the tree was brought. Nice, yeah. So that was nice to have them recognize that. And then we, you know, we had our paid ads in yeah. there. Yeah. So we had quite a bit. That was cool. Yeah. There was quite a bit in there. That whole insert. Mm -hmm. That was pretty good. <coughs> that was really good. Yeah. So that was very cool. How did Dick Fliss do to have fun? Oh, you know what? He just was so touched. He, he enjoyed it so much. Oh, he actually good. was um, very emotional. Oh. Yeah. He was very, very pleased. It was, he said it was one of the happiest moments of his life. Oh, my gosh. That's yeah, he so had great. a lovely time. He was really nice. Isn't that neat? I like that. Yeah, yeah. that was great. Mm -hmm. So he was a good guy. Good guy. Yes, it went well. You know, you just never know how it's all gonna. It always comes together. It does. Yeah. Well, Rain had me concerned. I thought this this is okay, but don't get worse. <laughs> well, it really I, came down. I know, hard. and you know, the Fathoms Court was soaked. You know, the, all the girls came in, and they were just. They do so well. They do. They're they so march well. around in those dresses, and <laughs> yeah. somehow they're troopers. They still have a good time doing it. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. Just wear big smiles and lovely. Okay, well, thank you for coming. Right. Thank you. Appreciate Good it. Job, Cindy.